It's not your average school science lab, is it? These pupils from Childwall Sports College are getting a lesson from professional scientists in the field. Well, in the Irish Sea, actually. How does this compare to a normal science lesson? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> They're testing what happens when the Red Irish Sea meets the Blue River Mersey. And why the whisk? Well, that's the tide, of course. <laughs> this is part of a Royal Society scheme that's given nearly 600 schools money to work on major experiments. Because science has got a big problem. Big lab coats, collar up. And the, and the glasses and the proper grey beard. What's your social life like if you're a scientist? None. Poor. Mm, mm, no, <laughs> pretty <laughs> lonely. There's certainly a general conception that we're all socks and sandals and beards and blowing things up in chemistry labs, I suppose. Well, I'd like to think that um, through people like myself getting involved, going into schools, making science exciting for them, that a few more will come through as, uh, more of a scientifics or a mathematics route. You know, and hopefully we'll see some of these guys at university in a few years and, and going on to be the next generation scientists. You know. The students love this project, but it can't mask the major problems facing school science. Only half of England's state schools offer triple science to pupils, and the exam watchdog says the current GCSE isn't up to scratch. Nearly half the people teaching combined science don't have a relevant degree, and one in five has nothing better than a science A-level. It means there are some high-profile critics. We don't have a curriculum that goes into science in any great detail, and we don't really have the number of high-quality teachers needed to teach a, 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 an in-depth curriculum. I've been moaning about science education for so long. Um, I thought, I'll, I'll go into a school not just for a day, but I'll go in for a whole term, and I'll teach physics for a term. They had very poor math skills. Um, they, they were struggling. There wasn't what I would call a fully qualified physics teacher in the entire school. Um, none of those children went on to do A-level physics because they hadn't had the grounding for the previous five years. The real punchline to all of this is that that was a science specialist school. Some silver linings. After sharp declines, more pupils are taking science again and they're beefing up the GCSE. Still, for many I spoke to, it's too little, it's too slow, and it's wrecking our future economy. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Liverpool.